Now, there's a few things that we've got to do to kind of make this all work. That's that's all right. That's a nature, the nature of how some of this is going to work for us here. Uh, and the the tricksy bit of this is that we're going to uh, plug some of the stuff that we would that we might normally have here in this part of our network, uh, kind of in our cross deck. We're going to actually plug that in over in our slider because we want our slider to do some very particular things. So we're going to uh, kind of walk away from this for just a second because we need to take a moment to figure out how we are going to make this slider work the way that we want it to. And we're going to need to use a little bit of Python uh, to kind of define the logic around what's going to happen there a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add a constant chop here. I'm going to plug that into a speed. And a speed is going to give me a nice even ramp that uh, accelerates over time. Next, I'm going to plug that into a null. There we go. Now on my sort, I don't want to sort, I want to speed. Aye. There we go. Plug that speed in the first input and all the way through. Perfect. Now, in our constant, if we change that to say one, for example, we can see that go up forever and ever and ever. It's very exciting, I know. Uh, what we want to do though is we want to limit this. We want to clamp it. So it only goes up to 1. And I'm going to change this so it's 0 0.5. Now, uh, huh, what's going on? What I'm going to think about is I'm going to think about when I click on these buttons, I'm going to flip the sign of this thing, right? So that I ramp down to 0. Or, if this is positive, I ramp up to 1. That way I'm always kind of going up or down, up, or down. And I'm going to use that, especially with these buttons, to define how I'm moving through my deck. It's going to be so, so slick. We can do that with a panel execute. There's a panel execute dat here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that both of my buttons are set to momentary. I'm going to drag my button onto my panel execute. Excellent. And what I want to do here is I want to target that operator that's constant 1. I want the parameter called value 0. How do you know that it's value 0, Matt? I don't understand. Up here, if we expose this, we can see value 0 is right there. Lovely. So I want the uh, constant 1, the parameter called value 0, and I want that to be equal to 0 excuse me, negative 0 0.5. Easy peasy. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this. We'll scoot it on over here. I'll drag button 2 onto it. And in this case, I want it to be 0 0.5. Slick. OK, well, what does that do? Well, let's make these viewer active and see. So we'll see that if I click on deck B, all right, we're already there. If I click on deck A, we flop the sign on this, and we go back down to zero. We ramp up. We ramp down. OK. Well, let's surely we can do some more with that. And we can indeed. Let's come over here to our null, and let's use a chop execute. And our chop execute is going to do uh, something for us every time this value changes. And every time this value changes, I want to update my operator slider 1 and I want to target its panel u value and I want that to be equal to val and you might say I don't I don't know what that even means well that's okay let's open up a little text port here instead of doing this business let's just print out val right we can print out what val is, and let's hit one of our buttons. Aha! 
So the valve that comes out of this is the float value that's inside this null. So then what's all this slider panel U business? The panel U, right, is this horizontal position on our slider. So what this little, exp uh, this little expression, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, I can't talk tonight. What this uh, little expression is going to do, what this little script is going to do, is it's going to target the slider, and it's going to make sure that we ramp up and that we ramp down. Slick. So, so slick.